Today on Be Something Wonderful, how to shift to a totally new identity in reality instantaneously. I am your host, Tom Karen, and this is the Be Something Wonderful studio of higher consciousness, where we help you level up and become the best version of yourself. Creators, welcome back to the studios of Be Something Wonderful. Lots of sessions and lots of questions and topics came up that I want to talk about today, but one of the big questions is, was, Tom, how do I know? How do I know I'm in my new reality? How do I know I'm, my, I'm in my new identity? What about my family and friends and, and my specific person? Remembering, who, remembering things from my past or remembering me who I was, that old identity. What about that? All of these came up. What about the idea that change takes time or that I'm only seeing small changes or there's just no change or no movement? My SP and the people around me remind me and remember the old me. What about my specific person's free will? What if they don't choose to be with me? If, 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 if no one has free will, then what about their free will? We're going to talk about all of these ideas and more. Remember, Change doesn't take time. We're going to talk about this today. Change is your experience of time. It all, remember, you're always changing in every moment. And there's no partial change. There's no small or big changes. Ch any change is total change. Total change in identity and total change in reality. We're going to talk about this today. And so you're not only seeing small changes or no change. You're just remembering yourself or that identity. You're changing into that an identity that's or a reality that's very similar to the one that, that from the moment before. You're believing and assuming and defining yourself in the same way or a similar way than the moment before. But you have totally changed. You're a totally new identity and new reality, but it looks very similar to the one the moment before. And that change takes place instantaneously in that moment. Do you see it? It doesn't feel instantaneous because it, it feels like nothing's changed, but everything has changed instantaneously. So, and then this other question, my SP and the people around me remind me and remember the old me. Remember that, that it's not about them or what they remember. It's about what you remember. You're remembering them remembering you. Do you see it? Or you're perceiving them, perceiving that old identity of you. It's all your perception that matters. You create your entire world. We're going to cover these ideas today. And what about my specific person's free will if they choose not to be with me? Remember that you are an infinite being. So isn't everybody else. But in your reality, you, who you're being, that identity and reality that you occupy, it determines the versions of everybody else that, that is in your world. You create your entire world and versions of them. Sure, they are points of consciousness, individualized points of consciousness like you. But it's all one. It's all that is. And the version that you're seeing of them, that point of consciousness, depends on who you're being. So it's not about the free will of the one that doesn't want to be with you. That... That person that doesn't choose to be with you, you can't do anything, you can't, you can't affect that free will. They have a free will to choose. What you're doing is create, you're moving into an identity or a reality where they do choose you, where, where, that, where that identity of you matches the, creates an identity of them that does choose you. That's what we mean by free will. So you're not, if you, if you keep focusing on that version of you that's not with them in, the, in, the, in that specific person still doesn't choose you, then you keep creating that version that doesn't choose you. Be that person who you want to be. Make it about you. Be that ideal you that they choose you and then you will create that version of them in your world. You'll see that version of them that chooses you. We're going to talk about all of these ideas today and more. When you change anything, you change everything. There is no such thing as small changes or big changes. With any change is total change, as Bashar and all the other spiritual greats talk about. In every moment, and there's only one moment, 
you are creating an entirely new experience of reality in all time, past, present, and future. Think about this. Contemplate this. You, in every moment, you are an entirely new being in an entirely new reality. You are having an entirely new experience of that ultimate reality. Everything has changed. And you're going to say, well, Tom, but it feels or it seems like the same because you're, you, because you're carrying the same assumptions, the same beliefs, the same definitions that look very similar to the ones that you were carrying a moment before. They're all changed. Remember, not even your beliefs and definitions are the same. Everything changes except that I am awareness, except who you really are, your true nature as that, as that Christ in you, that I am awareness as that being that's eternal. Everything else changes. There's one moment. There's one reality and one creation with infinite experiences or viewpoints or vantage points or perspectives of that one. So the one doesn't change. Who you really are is all that is, as that I am awareness. Doesn't change, ever change. And there, it's, it's eternal. It's simultaneous. It's, it's one, right? But you have infinite experiences as all that is. Infinite perspectives and viewpoints that you can see that one. That gives you the experience of time and change and movement in this 3D experience. Seeing reality, seeing all that you are from a different vantage point. So creation is finished and all that is, is. But your experience of and as all that is, as that I am awareness, is changing in every moment of now. You're entirely, it's an entirely new experience. It's an entirely new viewpoint, perspective of all that you are. Do you see that? And that change, no matter how big or small it appears to be, is total change. It's a total change or a totally new experience. In other words, it's a new you, right? Your true name or nature as I am awareness never changes, but how you identify with and as that I am awareness changes all the time. And that's what, that's what time is. It's an experience of all that is. <laughs> that's what time and change, it's just change. It's you seeing yourself differently from infinite perspectives. That's powerful. So that's what time is, an experience of your simultaneity as I am, right? Change doesn't happen in time. Change is the experience of time. It's that thought that, ex that change happens in time that keeps you see that feels like or it appears that you're in the same reality or the same experience or the same identity. But none of that. Change is the experience of time. Change doesn't take time. Change is instantaneous and total. Any change is a total change and it happens right now, it's instantaneous, right? Your true identity, name or nature never changes, I am. That is, that's why God said to Moses, my name, this is my name, I am that I am. This is my name forever and ever. I am that I am means you're whatever you identify with, whatever you are aware of is your nature or name, is your reality, that's your experience of reality. That multidimensional identity and personality is all that is. Your experience of and as your true identity is totally new and instantaneous in every moment. So all change is total and it's all instantaneous. But what, what gives it the, the feeling that it takes time, that it's not instantaneous, is you're, you, you're changing into an identity or a reality that's very similar to the one the moment before. So it feels like things take time, but it's a total change. And you're totally different, totally new in every moment. There's no big or small. So that it makes no sense for waiting for change. You, you just keep identifying with waiting in that old identity, in that old reality. That's powerful. So you've seen this before, but I wanna show it again, this idea of the horizontal or linear experience, right? The vertical, who you really are, that I am awareness, right? Who and what you're identifying as, as that I am awareness, the son of God, 
identifying, having the experience as the Son of Man, having that linear horizontal experience in the 3D world, that physical experience, right? You're changing in every moment. Do you see it? But regardless of the solid appearance, the solid blue line, it feels solid. But within that, you're changing in every moment. But not only in this, what you believe is your present experience, but the future you and the past you are all changing. All your identities, all your experiences, who you decide you are right here is, changes everything. It changes your, that linear horizontal past that you think you had in that horizontal linear future that you hope to and imagine to have. It's all right now, and you create it all from the present moment. That's why Jesus asked the question, who do men say that I, the Son of Man, am? That defines your physical experience. That's what creates that, that regardless of the solid experiences, in every moment, you're defining who you are. And your experience is new. Past, present, and future is changing in every moment. That linear horizontal experience... Remember, and any change is a total instantaneous change, past, present, and future. It's changing everything in all time, and it's instantaneous. In every moment, you're, you're a new identity. Even if the outer appearances seem solid and not changing, you're totally new. That solidity is so we're able to experience the, that simultaneity of who we are the instantaneity of who we are, right? You're always shifting and you're new in every moment. That's who you really are, the Son of God, that I am awareness, that totality of all realities, all identities. Having an experience as the Son of Man, defining who you are, that feels like a solid experience, but you're changing past, present, and future in all realities. Who you define yourself right now that past experience changes, that horizontal past changes to make sense to who you are being now. Do you see it? It all changes. And that future experience changes to who you're being now, who you're defining, because it's all right now. There is no time. Remember, time is an experience of that change, <laughs> right? Of that shifting of realities. That's powerful. We'll get back to that. All change is total change and instantaneous change. All change is total change and instantaneous change. So if change seems to be taking time and not changing much, it's because you're changing totally and instantly into an identity similar to, to who you were the moment before. That's what's happening. It's just, it, it's total change and it's instantaneous change. But you, but you're carrying that same belief or that same, or you're identifying with those same beliefs, those same assumptions you were a moment before. They're new assumptions, they're new beliefs in that moment, but they're very similar to what you were believing before or assuming before or seeing before. Do you see that? That was the message of Jesus, your I am awareness. When he pressed his apostles and asked them again, because remember when he asked, who do men say I, the son of man, am, as we show here, who do men say, I, the Son of Man, ha am? The, what did the apostles answer? They said, well, Jeremiah, some say Jeremiah or John the Baptist or Elijah or one of the prophets. Or, they went all over the place, right? In other words, is it the 3D world that's defining who you are? Is it others? Is it, thought, is it your changing thoughts and feelings? Are you negotiating, as we said in yesterday's video, with these conditions, with others to determine who you are? Or are you deciding? That's why Jesus asked again, but who do you say I am? Not the others, not the 3D conditions, not the world, not your changing thoughts and feelings that are all over the place. Stop negotiating with all of those conditions and circumstances and people. You determine who you are. Stop waiting for something or someone out there or your changing thoughts and feelings to say who you are or to give you evidence of who you are or to prove who you are. You decide that and no one else and nothing else. That's powerful. So, and remember, that's why I'm, Paul said, I die daily. I die daily to that old me. In other words, remember, daily doesn't mean just every day. It means every moment. 
It means there is no time. It means I'm changing and I'm, beca- I'm, I'm new in every moment. I'm a new identity. I'm, I'm in a new reality. Right? I'm dying to that old me. I'm letting that old and resurrecting. That's the whole message of the resurrection. And resurrecting into that new identity, that new reality. You're dying or you die. In other words, changing totally and instantaneously in every moment to the old identity. And you resurrect into your new identity, your new reality. But to you, when you believe that you haven't, when you believe that nothing has changed, well, it all has changed but you keep seeing it from that old perspective, that old viewpoint, that old belief. You're you're not dying daily to the old you, right? The question is, are you still believing in the old identity, the old conditions, the unwanted or the no longer preferred reality by allowing those conditions to define who you are, by allowing others, the world, the conditions, your changing thoughts and feelings to decide who you are. In Luke 9, 23, if anyone wishes to come after me, this is your I am awareness, this is Jesus talking, but that Christ within you, your awareness of being, he must deny himself and take up his cross daily and follow me. In other words, I die daily to those horizontal conditions. I take up the cross, right? I rise in that vertical to that new identity. I decide who I am. I'm not letting the linear horizontal conditions define who I am anymore. That's the proper use of denial. Denying the power that these horizontal experiences have over you. The people invented circumstances. That's what we're talking about, right? If anyone wishes to come out, take up his cry and follow me, that I am awareness. Follow that vertical, who you really are. Decide who you are, right? That's the power and proper use of denial. Right? Allowing the old you, the old dead beliefs, the old dead thoughts, the old die and identify with your true nature. That was the whole message with La- the resurrection of Lazarus, right? The, to let go of those old dead thoughts, right? Unbind him and let him go, right? Unbind yourself from that old identity. But I don't feel any different. You say that, or things don't seem any different, or things don't look any different. This is what Jesus said, the chosen said, I don't need you to feel anything to do great things. You're already that person you need to be. What about my SP or specific person or family and friends reminding me or remembering or perceiving the old me? Remember, they're only remembering who you remember who you are right? You are remembering it wrong. It's you remembering or perceiving them remembering or perceiving your old identity. Do you see it? It's all you. It's not that they don't remember anything other than what you remember that they remember. That's powerful. It's all you, right? That, that's, why we keep, that, that, that's why I keep quoting that scene from Loki, right? It's about who and the who is you. It's not about why, when, then, or anybody else. Right? You are no longer who you were a moment ago or months ago or years ago. You're always new. Come, total and instantaneous change in every moment. Right? So uh, that's really what we're talking about. So how do you shift to a totally new reality and identity instantaneously? You already did. You already are in every moment. It's recognizing that. It's deciding who you want to be in this moment. Who do you say I, the Son of Man, am? That's powerful. I am your host, Tom Karen, and this is the Be Something Wonderful studio of higher consciousness, where we help you level up and become the best version of yourself. Creators, thank you. Thank you for being with me. Thank you for liking and sharing and commenting on the videos. Thank you for being part of our Facebook group, the ambassadors at facebook.com slash groups slash Be Something Wonderful, for joining us on Instagram and Twitter at Tom Karen, and for being part of our membership channel. We have our third live stream to be broadcast on the membership channel this month on March 30th, 2024. It's a Saturday morning at 9 a.m. Pacific Coast Standard Time. I'm going to be coming to you live, touching on the topics and questions that you've been sending to us at info at besomethingwonderful.com. Continue to send them. If we don't get to them on the live stream, we'll certainly get to them in a video or the next live stream for sure. So keep sending your questions. uh, and, and join us. If you're a member, join us. If you're not a member, check out the link below if, if you want to join. Creators with great love, with great light, and infinite gratitude. This is Tom Karen here in the studios of Be Something Wonderful in Las Vegas. Until next time, 
We'll see you soon.